As many as of the agreement that the coalition is accepted, say aye. Jaribio la kila tatu likamrejesha tena kwenye kambi pamoja na Kalonzo Msioka. Wenzetu hawa kina Uhuru na Ruto tulikuwa pamoja kina Amalo UGN. What up? All right? Sasa pia wakanisaliti kule ndani. Mimi nimesalitiwa every time. I want you to know mimi nimesalitiwa sijasaliti anyway. Sasa safari nikasema aya basi. Kwa sababu wenzangu wakaja wakasema sasa sasa watafuta kiti kingine. Hii ya president na deputy atukubali na tena wakamba ni wangapi ambao wanaleta juu ya meza. Hiyo jambo ile ni mbaya sana. Nikasema nao wacha tumalize kabisa. Je wazee wakaja wakaniuliza wewe na Raila kwani mlifanyana makosa mwezi kusauliana kusameana ah tukataza kuna ni ile tu nilitolewa nyundo na basi ikatoka mambo mengine so tukarudiana na aliyokuwa akipambana nao ilikuwa ni Uhuru Kenyatta ambaye mwaka 2002 alimdhania kuwa hajakoma kisiasa kwa mara nyingine tena akajipata pabaya baada Uhuru Kenyatta na William Ruto kunyakuwa ushindi. Wewe Mwenyezi Mungu. Ilete baraka kwetu. Ni safari iliyofufua upya uhasama wa kisiasa uliozaliwa wakati wa utawala wa Kenyatta na Jaramogi. Kuna msemo kwamba katika siasa hakuna marafiki wala maadui wa kudumu. Msemo unaodhihirika bayana kupitia ule urafiki waliokuwa nao. Hayati mzee Jomo Kenyatta na marehemu Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. Urafiki ulioingia doa na kugeuka kuwa uhasama wa kisiasa. Uhasama ambao hadi wa leo vizazi vyao havijaweza kuutilia kikomo. Nothing would have pleased me more if I had lost friend. Ile uchungu kwa mluo kwa mkikuyu tusidanganyane ingali ipo. Na ilianza kwa sababu ya hiyo kukongana Jaramogi Oginga Odinga na Jomo Kenyatta. Ingali ipo haijakwenda. Jamii ya Kiluo tunasahau. We are forgetful, we are forgiving. The Gama community never forgive to him. Never forget, never forgive him. Hawa 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 siki hawa nao. Wao wako pale pale. Jema haina ubaguzi wowote na hata tulimuita wakati mmoja kabla haja uchaguzi ujaja tukamuuliza rais aliyechaguliwa wakati huu shida yenu ni nini shida yako nini akasema yeye hana huadui wowote na wajaluo alisema hivyo ni yeye binafsi hawa, wanakosana na, na rafiki yake na ndugu yake aitwaye Raila wale it is very hard nikikuambia hivi siku pichi is very hard kwa watu kama hao kuchukua kusemeana kwa sababu they 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 are handiko yes the rift started around about 1952 because they filled a lot of positions or they were being uh, essentially favored by the colonial government because they were not a danger to the colonial government so they got a lot more positions in government um, so that tension was there and fortunately just towards independence the Odingas of this world and Tom Boyer and Kenyatta were able to bridge it but the fact that you bridge some tension does not necessarily mean that the tension is cured wanasiasa ni watu hypocrite na wanasiasa ni watu ambaye kile kitu kabisa kile kitu inaweza lete lete mwangaza hiyo wanafisha kabisa hakuna ubinafsi baina ya jamii nyata jamii ya jaramogi wakati nilipokuwa mgonjwa hapa usalikuja watu wote hapa ndio kwa nitembele si mara moja hata wakanilete mimi senge ya ya kuku ya kuchinja na ni wakanilete big side kwa hivyo tuko marafiki kibinafsi hakuna shida huko kupande hii ni pasibu ya siasa ile tofauti ambayo iko tu ni tofauti ya ile mali ambayo tumetengeneza nani ya Tailinda. Kwa maana Jaramogi na jamii yake ni wale mabepari wa kijaluo kabisa. They the blue capitalist. Na wanali ambao wangependa kuilinda. Lazima ilinde 
eh, kupitia njia ya kisiasa uhuru lazima pia linde mali ambao wametengeneza na ile via kwa kulinda hiyo mali ni siasa pia licha changamoto zinazomkabili katika ulingo wa siasa mwanga wa Raila Odinga umebaki kungaa hasa kutokana na ashiki na imani iliyokita mizizi kufikia upeo wa baadhi wa wafuasi wake kutaka hata kumwabudu wengi wanamtukuza na kumsifu na kumweka katika daraja nyingine ya uongozi hivi kwamba huwa tayari kutii na kutekeleza lolote linalotoka kinywani mwake when people are under siege then they look for a way of expressing themselves and and they look for uh, a center which can unite them and in this case uh, the center which tended to unite the aspirations of low nyanza people uh, which captured their dream of uh, betterment and so forth happened therefore to be the ogingotinja family sisi upande huu wa kijaluo tuko raina tunamheshimu sile lioko lio hatujui kama Mungu ndio amtaki atawale atakuwa namna hiyo kwa maisha yake sasa hizo matiliza na hiyo hiyo mambo yake kwenda kichungira hapana japo wasomi wanasema ushawishi wake sasa hauwezi kulinganishwa na ilivyokuwa miaka ya nyuma wanasiasa kutoka eneo la Nyanza wanafahamu fika wa kumpinga Raila Odinga kisiasa ni kama kujitia kitanzi wanasiasa kadhaa mashuhuri kama vile James Orengo, Profesa Nyang Nyongo na Dalma Sotieno wamejaribu kumkabili kisiasa Raila Odinga eneo la Nyanza lakini wakaambulia patupu nyota yao ya kisiasa ile ngatu pale walipoweka tofauti za ukando na kuicheza ngoma ya Raila Odinga We want somebody who can bring about change. And I propose to you Kenyans that Kenya needs an engineer. Sisi tunataka diversity many. Eh? Ikifika wakati wa kuweka president tutangalia. We want diversity. We want to one way only dictatorship. If you are not with uh, Raila then you seem to be um, a traitor wasi walikuwa wanasema hapana kwa jini kwanza tujaribu jaribu jaribu sasa tumeongea mpaka miaka 50 yes sasa tunasema hapana kuna kama kuna kijana baya pia anataka kujaribu hajaribu Raila Odinga akitoka kwa arena ya ya siasa mimi naona siasa huko sehemu za waluo itabadilika. I don't think we can expect the Odinga family to surrender our hand of power. The Luos will just get leaders. I don't think they have a shortage of good leaders. Nyanza province, the Luo community are a community who have been traumatized. And I think it's good to talk about that trauma. We're talking about the trauma of Ogengo Odinga leaving the vice presidency in 1966, two years after independence. Tom Boyer uh, being assassinated in 1969 that is five years after independence um, then you know um, uh, some other incidents which took place in, in 1969 I think that's when we had the incident in Kisumu where you know uh, President Kenyatta had gone there and there was chaos you know there was chaos hell broke loose and people died again Dr. Robert Uko was killed in mysterious circumstances follow that with their candidate losing in 1992 their candidate losing in 1997 their candidate losing in 19 in, in 2013 is a series of losses that make a community be traumatized hata pale uteuzi wa ODM ulipokumbwa na utata mwaka 2013 waliogadhabika na kujiunga na vyama vingine vya siasa hawakuwa na budi kufuta kero lao na kuunga mkono azma ya Raila Odinga ya kuwa ni rais lakini sasa mjadala umeibuka kwamba napaswa kuwapa uhuru wazaliwa wa jamii ya Waluo na wafuasi wake kwa jumla uhuru wa kumchagua mwanasiasa mwingine na ikibidi amchague mrithi wake Sisi hapa kwetu kuna methali moja wafugaji wa ngombe wengi Dume huwa alikuwa ni hii Mwana kenya kitoka ndume ambaye ana ngufu 
ngombe zinazaa 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 akianza kuchoka yule mfuoja anaanza kuwaacha wale wengine wajitoke bado hiyo bado iko tu wale wa Kristo toka pia wale ambao sasa kuna wasa hiyo kazi sasa yeye anafinywa lakini achinjwi yeye iko hapo kwa ngombe kwa hivyo Raila pia sasa atusemi yeye bado yeye iko kwa siasa lakini tuwataka hawa vijana ambao wanajitokeza tusiwatakaze wasiingie kwa siasa at the end of the day it is the people's attitude they have made the choice and it's like saying if you make your bed sleep on it kule nianza kuenda atakwambia kwamba Raila hajazalazimisha mtu yote chakulia maamini wakati wanafanya uteuzi mimi siku huko nianza it's a bit difficult for me to say that he's a, a king of the law of course there are a lot of laws who like him but again as honorable wamal was said there are those who like love him with a passion but also those who hate him with a passion as well i don't love them i don't hate them <laughs> i'm neither of those um and in any case i never really just analyze it as a family issue <laughs> Haiwezi kuwa na mtu mmoja miaka na miaka haiwezekani. Nasema iwe na kikomo cha uongozi na kama ni kiongozi mzuri aapishe mwingine. Awe pia sasa fanya nini? Endelea nikiwa bado mimi nafanya nini? Niko. So imefika wakati na pia Raila Odinga ajiulize soul searching. Nikiendelea nitalete watu wengi au watu wengi wa maondoka mambo yanaanza kuelekea jioni jioni wake isitoshi wajuzi wanasema bahati alionayo na inayomuuza kwa urahisi ni ile dhana kwamba ufuasi alionao si wa kisiasa wafuasi wa kisiasa huja na kuenda baada ya uchaguzi lakini wafuasi wake wameandamana naye kwa kuwa wanaweza kujihusisha na anayoyasema yote haya wafanya wafuasi wake kuamini kuwa yeye ni mtetezi wao kwa kuasuaji wake hata hivyo wanayo maoni tofauti the laws going and sticking to a family was perhaps because that family inspired hope in them maybe if mboya had not died so early things would probably have been different if you have to, if you've been traumatized and you you're in a crisis you'll hold on to something ni kiongozi ambaye umpende au mchukie huakosesha wengi lepe la usingizi hasa mahasimu wake wa kisiasa ana mvuto ambao ni vigumu kulinganisha na mwanasiasa mwingine hali ambayo imempa maarufu mkubwa katika siasa lakini wapo anaweza kuvutia umati kiasi hiki mbona basi hajaingia ikulu hadi sasa Rais Moi alikuwa na uwezo mwingi sana ya kusikiza watu wengi sana na kwa kingereza nasema a good listener. Sisemi ya kwamba Raila ni good listener. Anasikiza mtu mmoja na anaona mambo yanakwisha. Hivyo ndivyo anavyosumbuka akiingia kwa vitu eh, kama kura. Lingine ni dhana kwamba umati humsisimua hadi akasahau kuweka mikakati ya kubadili umati huo kuwa kura hasa nyakati za uchaguzi inasemekana kuwa mtindo huu si mgeni katika ukoo wa Odinga wakati marehemu Jaramogi alipokuwa makamu rais yeye pia alibeba na umati katika mvutano wa kujitafutia ubingwa katika chama cha Kanu baina yake na Hayati Tomboya mwaka 1965 na kusahau kujikusanyia wajumbe katika mkutano wa Limuru mwaka huo na ndivyo alivyopoteza nafasi yake ya makamu rais hata hivyo katika safari yake ya siasa hasa nyakati za uchaguzi amelaumiwa na wengi kwa kuwa msaliti na mtu asiaminika kama rafiki hivyo basi ni vugumu kwake kuhifadhi urafiki kwa muda wajuzi wanasema hili linatokana na kuwa Raila Odinga yuko radhi kujitenga na wanaonekana kuwa na mawazo tofauti na yake ni lazima watu wafanye kazi kwa kishirikiana ni lazima watu watofautiane lakini mimi sikubaliani na mtindo wa kujaribu ku chafua majina ya watu na kuita uh, uh, wasaliti
tangu turudiane na tufanye kampeni ya pamoja yeye na ndugu yangu Moses wa Tangula ambao sisi watatu ni venara wa kodi tumekuwa kama ndugu Hoja nyingine ambayo imemweka kwenye darubini ya siasa ni kwamba jamii ya Waluo huwa inajitambulisha na kumwamini kiongozi mmoja hadi mwisho. Na ndipo jaribio la wanasiasa wengine mfano Rafael Tuju na Evans Kidero eneo la Nyanza limetumbukia nyongo. Uh, they always tell me that you know we, we like you is only that you are in the wrong party and I say fine I also like you but I could not come to your party. Right for those reasons. Um, it's mutual respect. I don't have any problems even in Kisumu. I mean, a couple of times I had to wear a helmet, but it was in jest. It wasn't really that somebody was going to, <laughs> to kill me. That was just a joke. Luos have been among the Kenyans that fought for the second liberation and paid very heavily for it in many ways, like other Kenyans, other Kenyan patriots. They worked so hard to bring multi-partism into the country, but we seem to have forgotten Nyanza. It's where you don't find a lot of multipartism. The Luos have been out of government for more than 40 years of the 51 years of independence. So what do you expect? It's a very, very traumatized community. Wengi wanasema unapata nguvu mpya wakati ambapo kuna mabishano. Na ndiyo sababu wengi wanasema tumekuwa tukishuhudia mvutano baina yako na serikali ya uhuru Kenyatta na wakati ulipokuwa katika serikali ya mseto pia wengi wanasema ulikuwa haukubaliani na Mwai Kibaki. Je, ni kwamba unapenda mabishano kila wakati? Mimi napenda ukweli, si mabishano. Mimi sitaki kubishana na watu. Ni Kenya hii watu wamezoea mambo ya udikteta. Sio kazi ya upinzani kusifu serikali. Sio hiyo sio kazi ya upinzani. Ati ya kuungana serikali kwa pande ya maendeleo. Hapana upinzani mpaka iwe ni kama washdog ya kuangalia pale serikali inatereza wanaambia hapo umetereza na huku uchaguzi mkuu wa mwaka 2017 ukiwa bado uko mbali kidogo kuna wanaoamini kwamba Raila Odinga bado anao mkuki wa mwisho lakini je anayo nguvu na ushawishi wa kutosha kurusha mkuki huu hadi ulengi kulu nyota ya Raila Odinga kuonekana tena na mwangaza saidi itategemea wale ambao wako kwa kiti. Wale kwa kiti wakifanya vile wa Nyota yake haitatoa mwangaza. Lakini wasipofanya mwangaza ya Raila Odinga itaonekana. Na kanya sawe moyele, tongamanya sawe yele, kanya sawe yele to bela bela. Watu wa kiti kama ni uongozi ile Mungu ameleta kwa kwa njia yake mzuri ile njia ya ya, ya kweli hiyo ndio sawa lakini ile mtu anatafuta na kuua wananchi na kufanya mambo ile mbaya hiyo naye alionya watoto wake kama hiyo ndio uongozi muachane naye japo chama cha ODM kimeyastahimili mawimbi ya kisiasa tangu kilipobuniwa wajuzi wa siasa wanasema kukidhibiti chama hicho hadi mwaka 2017 ndio mtihani mkubwa kwa Raila Odinga kuna haja ya kuletea sisi list ambayo umechora tu na kusema mambo ndio hii there are no sacred cows in ODM hatutaruhusu unyakuzi wa chama kwa njia yoyote wanachama wanajulikana kwa vitendo na maneno atabaki pweke au atafaulu kuidhibiti hali Duos cannot continue doing this. We can't be the people who are being said to be democratic. Sisi ndio tunasaficha njia na wengine wanapita. Lazima sisi sisi pia we must sell our hands and if taking government over requires strategies that we don't have, we must land them.